Milwaukee first responders, they're mourning the loss of a Bell Ambulance EMT. He died after an accident over the weekend in Lake Michigan. Our Angelica Sanchez shares this man's mission to help others and how it lives on. That's right, guys. The wife of 61 year old John Swanson talks about the difficult decision to fulfill her husband's wishes so that others could have a second chance. Sailing is something 61 year old John Swanson loved, a passion he shared with his wife, Lori. She tells us over the phone from her home near Green Bay that they were on their boat Friday when the unthinkable happened. I was on the boat and I heard him get on but then fall. Police say a dive team responded to reports of a possible drowning at South Shore Marina. Lori says John was revived several times at St. Luke's Hospital. Well, they left it up to me to say the word stop. That was the hardest, hardest word I ever ever had to say in my life. She knew nothing more could be done. She also knew her husband was an organ donor. He absolutely loved his job. She says John was also passionate about helping people. He was an EMT for Bell Ambulance. He had been with the company since 2007. She knew even in his passing, John would want to help someone. His eyes were useful to two people. Lori says tissue, skin, and ligament donations were also made, helping at least 40 people. Bell Ambulance colleagues held a gathering in John's memory Sunday night at the South Shore Yacht Club. Canine comfort dogs were there. They're hurting too. They lost a family member. It wasn't just my loss. For now, Lori and her family take comfort in fulfilling her husband's wishes. She knows exactly what he would say. You made a good decision. You're doing the best. You're helping other people. I did not die in vain. The medical examiner says they are investigating John's death as accidental. On Facebook, Bell Ambulance says this is a heavy loss for their team. They have made grief and support services available to all of their members. Reporting live at South Shore, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. Angelica, thank you.